So last time I was over here, last time I was over here, we were driving down this road and I saw this chair sitting here. And I said to myself, I gotta sit in that chair. Wow, what a fucking view. That down there, that little inlet thing you can see down there, that, that beach there, that's that locals beach I was just over by, by that, that's the bridge, you can actually just make out the bridge there in the distance. That's where I just was. Uh, checking out that was at the locals beach and they had signs everywhere it says don't go down there and so I was just taking pictures and looking at it from a distance and wow look at this shit wow that is straight up just unsurvivable fall right there ladies and gentlemen wow fuck me it is gorgeous though just on the other side of that little peninsula there is the blowhole and there's like an overhang that's like a rock tube that when the tide comes in and stuff, it blows water and air and stuff from the tide up through this vent tube, basically, where there was, you know, lava, of course, however many years ago. Wow, that is beautiful down there. Wow. Yeah, so I was over there taking pictures and looking around and uh, actually one of the local uh, native elderly guy came over and he was, I couldn't understand him well. He's having a hard time making it out with his accent and you know, a little older and everything. So, but we were talking for a while. Oh my God, look at that. Can you see that down there? I wonder if you can see that. Ah oh, man, I wonder if I can get this thing to zoom or something. There's a turtle <laughs> just floating on the surface, getting a breath of, breath of air he goes back down and eats some more i doubt you'll be able to see that maybe if i if you want to get home and put this on the computer and zoom way in for you guys you might be able to just make that out i can the naked eye you can see him pretty decent but on the camera you might not be able to man but anyways so the local guy came over and i was you know asking him about you know living here and everything else and i was part of me when i go and travel things like this is i want to like record like conversations with the locals but the other part of me doesn't want to rec record stuff because i just feel like certain things are private like conversations like that are private you don't need to record everything you do you know um but so yeah he i was talking to him and he was like oh those signs are bullshit go right on down there no, no problem and i was like you know man i i respect that i appreciate that thank you for the invite but i you know I respect that the locals need a place where there's not a million tourists, where there's not a bunch of idiots dressed like me holding cameras in their face, where they can just sit and enjoy. So, you know, I I appreciated the offer. He's like, "Are you sure?" And I'm like, "Nah, that's that's okay." So, I don't know. Maybe if my curiosity perks me on another day while I'm here and there's not a bunch of locals already down there trying to enjoy their day, I might sneak in there and try to take a look. Oh, there it is, Shaka, <laughs> Shaka. Um, but it's, you know, wow. So here, I got to go sit in this chair so I can say I sat in the chair. Because I when we drove by before, I said I wanted to sit in the chair. I don't know. It looks sus, but we're going to sit in it anyways. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the spot right here. I need to turn this chair around, point it the other damn way. What are they doing? What were you thinking, buddy? Right there. That's the spy. Now we're talking. Beautiful, man. Fuck, I could sit here all day. Just hanging out. It's pretty amazing. This is crazy how just deep blue and clear the water is. And you know, and in California, there's there's blue, you know, crystal clear water like that. But a lot of it, you know, when you're on the North Shore, it's you got sand and stuff underneath. And so it's kicking up that. And you got a couple of different rivers that come into the water there, come into the ocean there. So it, it uh, you know, it can cloud the water a little bit. But here it's just crystal clear and blue. Pretty sick. Oh, I hear a motorcycle guy coming back motorcycle guy went riding by me earlier at about 80 miles an hour on this 20 mile an hour winding ass road 
came flying around at full angle, dragging foot peg on the ground. <laughs> I was like, God damn, he must be a local. He's riding this road like he rides it every day. So that was pretty cool watching him. Yeah, it's funny, you know, it's a lot of the tourists seem to go to the touristy spots. And don't get me wrong, a lot of the touristy spots are really, really pretty and it pays to go there and you want to go there. But, I mean, you can you can go for a hike here or walk around here or whatever and stop nearly anywhere on this island and find this. You know, this is not, is this special? Yes, this is special. Yes, this is beautiful. But this is not special to Hawaii. You know what I mean? Hawaii's got a million bays, a million different places where you can pull off and it looks like this. So, all right, I think I'm going to cut it off there. I'm going to flip this chair back around and maybe snag myself a uh, profile picture in this chair and we'll, uh, we'll continue on our adventure. <laughs> Man, sometimes I'm just speechless. This is how lucky I am to be here and how beautiful this place is. It's just crazy. All right. Well, I'll catch you back in when we're back to adventurizing. All right, bye. All right, well, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go next here. Probably try to find a little place to pull off and uh, take a few more pictures. back down the mountain is a little, a little bit more exciting than the ride up it. Going down, you're fucking cruising, man. I could barely do 20 on the way up. Now I'm flying. Pretty sure the speed limit on this road is 25, but I don't think anyone's going to get mad at the moped guy going a little faster downhill. Let's pull off here, maybe. What do we got over here? Oh, not too much. Oh, come back in the trap. Look out, folks. Look out. I have no insurance. Look out. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe right here might be the spot. Might try right here for a sec. Let's just pull in and see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's, that's real pretty. Quick look. Oh man, look at those fucking reefs down there, man. Look at that reef. That is some good reef. I kind of want to get out on that little peninsula over there. I wonder if there's a way. I don't know if you can see it from where I'm standing right now. If you look down there, there's a beach. And I heard that was a locals beach but from what I can tell there's a million people parked over there so I wouldn't feel too bad cruising over and having a peek but I don't know I don't know what time it is I'm awfully tired for whatever time it is I am a little worn out today lots of adventuring lots of cerveza so all right I'm gonna keep cruising see if I can find another cool cool place to pull off and take some more pictures at this point, I'm pretty much just trying to fill up my memory card. I think I'm just going to go buy another memory card because I just keep seeing amazing shit everywhere I go. <laughs> All right, catch back up to you soon. Oh yeah, 
there's a ton of people down there. There must be a little road or something to get down there. A ton of people over there. All right, we'll pull off and have a peek. That was the peninsula I was looking to get on. Let's go up and take a look. Oh. I thought to have a pop off at the little lookout spot here. Oh. Don't fall down the mountain. Highly important feature of adventuring is to not fall down the mountain. Oh boy, Ooh, don't fall down the mountain. All right, there's a spot. Let's see if we can get down there. Don't fall down the mountain, very careful. Oh shit, oh god, fuck, god, this. Yep. There you have it. That big ass rock out there doing big ass rock shit. by the waves. There's a surfer dude out there. I wonder, it seems like a kind of a date. Maybe out there, if you swam over there, you could probably ride that in a pretty good ways before you got super shallow here and had to worry about the rocks and stuff. It's got a little bit of a ways to swim out there yet. That's what. This is it. All right, back on the moped, back on the road again. This seems to be another really popular snorkeling spot. I'm guessing it's because he kind of got a bay here and it sort of cuts the cuts the waves down. There's basically no waves down in that bay. It'd be really, really easy snorkeling. Probably be pretty cool. Ah, I keep finding all these amazing snorkeling spots. I'm gonna have to spend another 20 bucks at Snorkel Bob's, rent the damn things again. I should have just gotten it for the whole week. <laughs> it's a mistake. Maybe it'll give me some kind of deal because it'll be like the fourth time I'm rented from them, but we'll see. All right, back on the bike. For the most part, people are fairly friendly. I do get the idea that the locals don't like the tourists as much as, uh, <laughs> as much as you think. You know, tourism is a big part of the business here, a big part of people's livelihoods. It's the number one way is people make money out here. But the tourists bring a lot of, you know, unwanted things to the island, you know. It, Mostly just the, all the people, for crying out loud. I mean, there's so many damn people that come here. And it just kind of takes up natural natural resources and land space, everything else. Oh boy, a whole gang of people just decided they were gonna pull in here while I, when I pulled in. I'm gonna take my look and then get the fuck out of here. Yeah, this is more of that bay I was looking at from over there on that other cliff side. This is that same day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wipe the ways down. Yeah, a lot of people out here snorkeling. It must be another, because you got this bay, so you can see all the rocks, and over there you can see the reefs. All those fancy dancy boats are usually like snorkeling expeditions that take people on just tours of the island in general by way of the, the boat. 
you see them all over the place. They, they actually land right on the beach in Lahaina. Because you just come plowing up to the beach right through the middle of people swimming and stuff. All right, back on the road again. We'll see if we see anything else cool. We'll catch you guys in. Another, another big beach for uh, surfing and shit like that. Another golf course that jets out into the ocean. It's kind of shocking to me how many golf courses there are in this damn island. You know, it's, it would seem like it's an island, right? And it, I, I would feel like a uh, golf course would be just a massive waste of real estate, essentially. Um, but you could totally understand why somebody would want to play golf court here. I, I just, I can't imagine what it would cost. I imagine that, that to play around a golf here must just be un, unreasonable, unbelievable. Because, you, like I said, you're taking up incredibly valuable resource for, uh, real estate and uh you know how much re you know return do you get out of golf course versus say a resort or uh, condominiums or you know something like that especially oh especially uh oceanfront property you know i i good lord that golf course must be very old i can't imagine they build a new one you know under today's climate and today's uh political climate and today's you know financial situation and everything else it's very very difficult i'd imagine to build a golf course nowadays it's uh like a drainage tunnel underneath there and uh dried up creek bed look over on this side you can see the ocean made a little lagoon down there I'm sure that's all sea water yeah look at that little a little fresh water, maybe ocean water lagoon down there. That's pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. A lot of people at that beach. A lot of the beaches are are very, very busy. Uh, it's not like you know, say Northern California, where you can go to the beach and you're the only one there. <laughs> maybe there's one other guy surfing or something, but you know, you're gonna be the only guy there. Uh, the difference also is. Water temperature in California, like 70, between like 60 degrees and 70 at the most, maybe. I mean, honestly, you're not getting a whole lot more over 65 in the water at Cali. And whereas here, the water basically, unless you're diving down deep or there's a storm coming in, the water is basically 70 degrees. card space on my phone. I got on my camera rather. I got a little bit of motorway drive from the dude here and then I'll be back on a little side road again that I've already taken video of so I don't really see any reason to get more video of it. So uh yeah I don't know maybe you'll see me at the at the uh resort. I think I gotta stop off at the uh ABC store and see if I can find some uh sunscreen and an additional uh, memory card for my camera. Alright, I'm going to cut this off because we're doing some sketchy driving now. Alright kids, see you later.